Welcome back to Vector Space Talks, where we talk about vector databases, vector search, machine learning, and the latest in AI. My name is David Muriel, and today we're going to talk about something huge coming out in version 1.13. We've just released a new version, and with it comes a groundbreaking feature, GPU acceleration for HNSW indexing. This feature lets you build data indices up to 5 to 10 times faster. The best part is that you can do this without sacrificing any of the features you love, like filtering and quantization. We think this is a game changer for people using vector databases on a very large scale. To break it all down, we're joined by the brilliant mind behind this feature, Ivan Pleshkov. Ivan is a serious, a senior Rust engineer at Quadrant and the driving force behind GPU acceleration. Today, we're gonna dive into why it's important, who it's for, and how you can get the most out of this new feature. All right, let's get started. Welcome, Ivan. Oh, thanks. So you've been spearheading GPU acceleration as a personal project in the beginning in Quadrant, and we have come to see that it's a very exciting development. Do you want to tell us briefly about your role in this project and what motivated you to start experimenting in the first place? So, uh, yep, uh, as I told, uh, at the beginning, uh, GPU acceleration was um, a personal project, but it was important for me personally. I'm working in a great team with great persons and, uh, you know, Everybody here in Quadrant uh, have some ideas to try to do something in addition. And of course, I'm looking at uh, this atmosphere, uh, this, uh, these guys, these colleagues uh, with uh, I'm working on Quadrant. And of course, I wanted to join this party. I wanted to do something great too, like our colleagues. And uh, my idea was GP acceleration because I have experience in uh, this sphere. I worked uh, as game engine uh, developers and worked with uh, shaders, work, worked with uh, graphics, and I wanted to, to bring, uh, as, as my colleagues in uh, our great team, I wanted to bring something too. And uh, yeah, my idea was GPU acceleration. So you come from the gaming industry and we're actually pretty lucky to have the, uh, the combination of a guy from a place like that and also a very experienced Rust engineer. This is not something that a Rust database company has the uh, the luxury of having. So I, I would say we got pretty uh, pretty lucky with you. And uh, yeah, this is actually exciting. And it's exciting for one many reasons. But one of the big ones that I want to talk about is uh, this is actually vendor agnostic, right? What we have out in, in the industry is NVIDIA support. But with your approach and, and your build, uh, you can support many other vendors. So I just like to hear a little bit about what makes GPU acceleration special and why you've kind of chosen to build it this way. So, yep. Yeah, uh, first, it's important to mention that we not are related just to NVIDIA GPUs. We are working through Vulkan API. Uh, it's a uh, graphics and uh, computation API. And uh, we support all uh, hardware uh, which supports Vulkan from version 1.3 and with additional uh, Vulkan features. Uh, everything you might uh, found uh, in documentation. Uh, that's a big deal because uh, in some cases, AMD solutions are cheaper. And for instance, you don't have NVIDIA, you have something else. Even a CPU can emulate GPU device and uh, uh, probably uh, it may run. We use this uh, functionality in our CI and tests. It's important stuff because uh, with GPU acceleration, uh, you may spend less money for uh, indexing. Uh, let me let me explain on uh, some example. Uh, you have a server. The server has uh, eight uh, CPU cores. It's uh, completely fine for search, probably in your case, just in your case. Eight cores for search is good, but you have a lot of updates, you have a lot of writes, deletes, and you trigger uh, often reindexation, and uh, you wait a lot of time while you update your index because eight uh, eight CPUs can do it very slowly. What we can recommend to do in this situation, in this situation where you are struggling with indexing uh, computation speed, you may, for instance, buy additional CPUs, increase uh, increase your machine, and buy eight additional CPU cores. It's a good solution and your index uh, will be done two times faster. But right now we achieve uh, another approach. Instead of eight additional CPUs, you can buy uh, one additional GPU. On Google Cloud, Tesla 4 
IT4 cost almost the same, but you will get more performance and uh, your index will be constructed faster in the same price. And uh, and if you need to increase your uh, indexing speed, but uh, in case of search, everything is fine, a GPU may help you. With the same price, you will get more performance and more speed. So constructing the HNSW index is computationally expensive. Basically, the, the conclusion here is that one of the biggest draws to this, fe this feature is that it makes things a lot cheaper, in addition to making things faster. So comparatively for the same price, you can just get a whole lot more in terms of um, updates. Uh, this is important for, for companies and businesses and use cases in general that are re-indexing things over and over. So for people listening, what kind of use cases, what kind of uh, situations could you describe that that kind of power this, who would benefit from, from this GPU acceleration feature? So, uh, I would, I have already mentioned that the most profit is for users, uh, who want to index, uh, a lot of data often. Uh, if, uh, if for instance, you prepare your data only a you do not change it. Of course, you can, for instance, do indexation only once and uh, do after that only searches. But in common practice, we live uh, in very unpredictable world uh, where we want to, where, when everything uh, changes and well, and in cases where we have a lot of updates and trigger a lot of reindexations. Of course, these cases are good for GPU stuff. And in this case, yeah, you may try it. So I would assume that we have a lot of people prototyping. We have a lot of people experimenting. They're probably just okay using a regular machine with some CPUs. This is, this is good for large scale practices. This is good for enterprises doing things at a high dynamic. So yeah, I guess we could just say this is kind of a, a decent product for enterprises looking to scale their distributed system and, and speed up the indexing. Okay. So. I actually also want to know when it comes to challenges, you know, this has taken a while and you had to be really careful to develop the feature. So could you tell me what some of the biggest challenges were in implementing this, uh, this new functionality? Because Quadra is not easy to put together. It's in Rust. You've been working on it for a while. There's a lot of moving parts. Could you maybe give me one or two biggest problems that you encountered while putting this together? You know, it's often uh, the situation where uh, the bottleneck is not in your uh, engineering. The bottleneck is your emotions. And of course, uh, while working on, I met a lot of challenges. And the most painful thing so, was not fighting with the code, not fighting with the GPU. It was fighting with myself, where I do not, where I'm learning something while working on and struggling with it does not work it does not work maybe i am bad programmer maybe gpu is is not working properly but everything right now is fine and all problems are resolved so it sounds like a, sounds like a great avenue for personal growth because this is how you get better you you challenge yourself you test yourself and, and you you try your limits right so it sounds like an emotional experience as well of course, it was a challenge and it was complicated. Uh, yeah, there are some uh, implementations of uh, GPU HNW construction. I'm not the first guy who, who is trying to implement that, but everybody works with CUDA and we do a lot of additional uh, stuff like quantizations, filtering. It was a lot of challenges and yep, it was a long way, which makes me better and which makes Quadrant better. And uh, I hope everybody who is listening will enjoy this achievement. So for people listening, could you also tell us very briefly how to get started and where to check out the docs and what they can expect? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's easy to use. It's important to mention that uh, if you are a Docker user, you have to download separate Docker images uh, for AMD or for uh, or for NVIDIA uh, because uh, both of them require additional libraries and additional software. Uh, and we won't include it in basic uh, quadrant image because, for instance, uh, right now, uh, AMD image is one gigabyte of size and NVIDIA is, as I remember, 300 megabytes of size. 
but basic quadrant is less than 100. Uh, that's why you first have to use uh, separate Docker images. That's the first. Second, please uh, install, if you are running locally, please install a software which uh, enables uh, using GPU on Docker. Uh, we have uh, these instructions in our documentation. But if you are a cloud user, uh, probably uh, selecting uh, base images uh, regarding to your hardware. For instance, if you are working with NVIDIA, select on cloud basic images with CUDA support. Um, probably it's fine and uh, everything is uh, configured well. And uh, just enjoy, turn on, and uh, you don't need to do anything else. So yeah, as I saw from the documentation, the configuration for Docker is actually pretty minimal. If people want to put it together on their own, it's available beyond just uh, NVIDIA and AMD, correct? Uh, yeah, and uh, one important thing to mention, because uh, instead of Milos, which uh, have integrated CARG algorithm, uh, we are working with the same HNSW as the CPU side they are fully uh, compatible to each other. It's not a separate uh, index kind. You don't need to live with GPU if you turn it once. It's, uh, it's just uh, the same HNSW which before, uh, without any restrictions and without any additional uh, comments. It's not like, it's not a separate algorithm which builds a separate uh, kind of index. And after that, you will have something in difference as a result. No, it's not like Mules with separate kind of index of which GPU support. It's the same HNSW which you work on the whole time. So in our release article, we have some preliminary benchmarks. And we'll have a few other ones coming up soon with different vendors. But do you perhaps want to go over some of the rough numbers that we've gotten right off the start? Of course, it depends on the uh, device. There are a lot of uh, different kinds of GPUs and uh, they are really different. But my personal recommendation is uh, use, please, uh, cheap but modern GPUs. If you are looking for financial results, if you are want to make it cheaper than uh, CPU. The best approach is using uh, modern but cheap devices. As an example is uh, T4 from uh, NVIDIA or L4 from NVIDIA or V uh, your indexation with the low price. Uh, that's my personal recommendation. And with, the, and with these devices, it depends on, on data. Of course, it depends on data, but you may achieve, for instance, five time more uh, speed up than uh, eight. So, so we've tested it internally and we got up to 10 times. But the thing is, if you're using the most high powered graphics card, you're going to get 10x. But the cost that it takes to use that card is, is not, it's not feasible when you compare it to the uh, CPU alternatives. So could you, and then of course the, the graphics cards that you mentioned, they're mid-range, right? So I guess the advice would be to not go for the top possible speed, to go for sort of the average option because it is good enough. And if you do that, you will get your cost versus benefit. Um, and, and that's pretty much the play here is for the same price, you can achieve a lot more. Okay. I have one question. We're talking about indexing, right? But what about search? Can you run search on GPU? Should you run search? Is it the kind of operation that a search engine, by the way, because that's what we're here to talk about, that a search engine should be running on a GPU? Could you chime in on the, the details behind that? That's a good question. Actually, because if we're talking about uh, HSW construction, the first question was about search. Where is the search? So right now we uh, released only GPU indexing construction. Right now uh, we don't have GPU search. It's more complicated than uh, regular uh, HSW construction because as I told before, we don't have compromises with GPU and uh, support uh, the whole feature set of Quadrant. And if we're talking about uh, search, there is more difficult. Like for instance, payloads, we have to upload payloads on GPU uh, to do filter search, or we have to support uh, for instance, uh, recommendation API or uh, query API. 
uh, it's complicated and uh, it uh, may work uh, in case uh, where we have uh, uh, a huge batch of uh, search requests, for instance, at least 100 search searches uh, in one request. Uh, right now, yeah, we have some challenges and uh, the future of search uh, depends on the user, user's feedback, of course. Users uh, will decide are we going to implement search or not. If uh, it's a requirement, if uh, we are going to see that it's very important to our customers, of course, so we're going to think about it. So essentially, if the way industry develops and the way users start using search, if it becomes an operation that is used in batches, basically parallel processing, then this is where GPU yep. will show. But if people are just running on search at one time, it's just a CPU thing. Yeah, but uh, our goal is to uh, make other people uh, happy. And uh, if the search uh, will make a lot of people happy, of course, it make additional way, additional investigate uh, how to deal with that. But it's a very complicated question. If we're talking about uh, how to deal with the limitations of uh, GPU architecture and uh, how to do it without any compromises. I think uh, when it comes to indexing, a lot of our existing enterprise users will be very happy, especially certain industries dealing with social media and things like that, that are very dynamic. And uh, I think this is a huge development for now, especially during the, uh, the, the depending, especially regarding the fact that we're so agnostic to the vendors. I think this is kind of a, a big addition to the offering that the databases can give the users. So I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, give you a chance to talk about maybe if you have any personal plans for this feature or are you kind of letting, you know, getting feed in the getting feedback phase right now? Uh, of course, there is a lot to, um, there is a lot to do. Uh, there is a lot of ideas how to increase uh, performance. Uh, there is some ideas where we can apply uh, GPU. Uh, but in this phase of development, of course, we're going to see your reactions, uh, users. And I really hope that everybody will enjoy it and everybody will say, we want more features uh, with GPU. It will, it will make me happy. This is completely compatible with quantization. With pay this is for payload indexing as well as vector indexing. This is compatible with our multi-vectors, right? Right. So full feature set is working on, on the GPU indexing now. Uh, yeah, everything related to HSW construction, each option works so fine. Uh, if not works, please uh, open GitHub issue and I personally will fix it. Okay. And that's, that's a really good thing that you bring up. So all the locations for people to go to, go to our blog, first of all, go to our documentation, and then whatever questions you may have, Go to issues and complain directly to Ivan. Go to Discord, complain to me, and then maybe I'll send you to Ivan. I don't know. Um, do you, can you think of any other uh, advice for our users before they get started? I have only one advice. Just try it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ivan. Ivan Pleshkov, Senior Rust Developer at Quadrant. Great pleasure to meet you, and hopefully we'll talk very soon. Thanks a lot.